Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Sunday special. We're on number six, uh, well episode six, and it is the 12th of January already. Almost halfway through January, I cannot believe it. Right, okay, a little special project we're going to make using the Gangs All Mirror. Now what I've decided to do is I have a card base standard size. I also have a piece of... Um, what is it called again? Pretty Peacock Designer Series Paper that's available in the annual catalogue. Okay, now I am going to simply die cut a section out of here using my stitch shape dies. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark um, on the card at the back where this outline is going to be and then I'm going to stamp and colour in. Okay, so... Let's um, first of all get out the big shot. Okay, now I know you can't see that um, as well, but right, I'm just going to position right in the middle. I think that's about okay. Pop it down here, like so. And just run it through the big shot. Okay, so run that through. I know that I was trying to do kind of like recycled cardboard um, projects on a Sunday during this live at six. Um, but I'm just going to mix it up, really. Sunday special, it could be anything. Right, so here's what I've done. Okay, we have this here. All right, now what I need is a pencil. And this is simply, um, now I have a two eighth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, so the pencil is simply to let me know where the outline is so that I can stamp my little picture. So, see what I've done? And I'll rub that out once I've stamped. So I'm going to use the gang's own mirror. Okay, that is going to look fab. So, what do I need? I need a block. Now, I'm thinking, I'm not sure what colour um, I should stamp in. I think I'll go with black. What the hang? I have my memento out already, so let's do that. Okay, now this is quite a quick project. You think because it's um, die cut on the front that, um, let me see, hang on, I'll stop talking and I'll concentrate. I want to stamp that there. Um, you, you think that it would take a long time. How gorgeous is that? But it doesn't. It doesn't. And it's just a different angle of doing a wee card. So, what else can I put on? I am going to stamp on um, two things. I am going to stamp the little... Um, What's this called? It's not a dragon, what do you call it? A lizard. I'm going to part stamp a little lizard at the side too. Just about there. And I know he'll be off shot, but that, that doesn't matter. He'll still be there half and half. And I'm going to do the same with the big cactus. And that is just to give me a chance to add some extra colour. Right, so very quickly all I need to do I'm leaving that to the side because I do want to use some sentiments okay all I'm going to do quickly is just rub out the pencil marks and then I'm going to colour it with my um, stamping blinds so what we have here is old olive dark and light. We have the, um, what is this again? 
shaded spruce. I think I'll do that on here. I'll use shaded spruce on our little cacti. Okay, like that. Just add a wee bit of shade in on there, like so. And what else? My little gecko, or whatever it is, is going to be grey granite. And I've just told my husband, I'm doing a video, please don't walk past. But he has anyway. So sorry about the squeaking doors. Bless him. It's like nobody's... Nobody pays attention to me when I'm sitting. But um, as soon as I want a video done, everybody seems to want to be doing everything. <laughs> Bless them. Right, so... There we go. Now I want to use the light soft suede. Okay, and all I'm doing is adding some sand. Like so. Not worrying too much about the shading. So I'll do a little darker bit where the um, little meerkat shadows will be, like that, and hopefully that will work. Now I just want to test out that, um, yep, need some more. Just making sure that I have all I need covered, covered. Right, now on to the darker one. I'm going to add a slight, slight shadowing. Okay, do, 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 and then I will uh, blend it in a little bit by going over with the lighter shade again. It might look quite messy the now, but um, it will look good once this is on. No one liking how that looks. I am liking it. Now I want real red on a little cacti flower. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the red done. Now I'm going to use I'm going to use crumb cake for these wee guys, okay. So you can colour them different if you wish. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to stick with the same family of colour for this little meerkat family. So that's the little one that's mum or sister and there's dad or brother or gran and granddad or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Adorable. Right, let's add. I think I'll just use the um, the pen nib to add some darker shading on here. I like that squeaking. It's a sign of a good pen. <laughs> just gonna give Dad a little bit of a goatee beard. Okay, I think this is Mama. We'll see. I'm not the best at colouring, but that's absolutely fine. I may add some light grey. The light grey, um, light grey granite, sorry. Just to add a little bit different colour to these wee guys. Okay. Lovely jiffly. Now, what I want to do is I want to use the beautiful light balmy blue. Just to give some background colour. Okay. 
and you can see there's various spaces here in between their their little bodies that you can um, show the skyline in. at your lines. Make sure you're covering all of the desired area. Yay! I do like that. Now I'm just wanting to kind of make some cloud effect. Don't know if that's going to work. But we shall see. You just do whatever you can. Mm -hmm. This would look nice and um, blended as well. So if I put that close up, you can see it's a little sky effect. That goes on there, isn't that adorable? That is just cute there then. Cute, 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 cute. Right, so let me place that to the side for a second. What we're going to do is I am going to stamp um, here and here. I want two labels, so let's see. Right, I think that will fit on my everyday label. From all of us. I'm just going to stamp a few things just to see. Okay, I will use my Pretty Peacock colour because I think the contrast against the Whisper White will be really nice. Okay, so make sure it's the right way. Oh, see it's upside down, silly me. Doesn't matter though, I've not attached it to anything yet. And see that fits in nice. If I can get it punched out straight. Ta -da. <laughs> I do like that from all of us. Right. So I'm thinking. Right. So that's has got this little label here. What you could do if you wanted is um Add a little bit of contrast. I may actually look at look at that. That's a bit scrap. I think I'll um I think I'll stick that one there actually. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use that for a guide so that I cut the exact same shape. I could put it in my everyday label punch as well. Right, I'm just going to move that along a bit so that I know I have some extra coverage there. If I stick that one there, that is the exact same. Do you like that? I like it, I like it. Right, now a little bit of glue. So, concentration there. Eh? But you're thinking, gosh, she's quiet. That's going to pop up there, I think. Now, I wanted to put um, another sentiment on. Let me see how it's going to look. If I were to use a different label, um... Um, I'm just thinking, uh, da, 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 da. what have I got? What sentiments have we got? Happy birthday to a stand-up friend. In fact, it's not going to be a birthday card. I'm going to put we're here from you, from all of us. I've not used that stamp yet. So, let's pop this away. It's quite a strong colour, that pretty peacock. You need to be careful you don't get it absolutely everywhere. 
right now. So, I want to line this up like so. Oh, not happy with that, it's a bit squint. That's better. And I think I'll make this into a banner. So I'm just going to grab my little trimmer. Not my trimmer, my little guillotine. It's not perfectly straight, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, I've actually cut that screen. <laughs> Told you my eyes were dodgy today. Right, so you need to make sure it's on the right guideline there. That's what the guide is for, so you don't cut it squint like I have. Okay, I'm going to pop that up there. I want to see how it cuts on the triple banner. So I'm just cutting, I'm just taking the smallest bit off that possible. That's quite nice there as well. Right, I'm going to do the other side. Taking off the smallest smidgen. I'll put that down the bottom. And I'll put that one up the top. Right, let's get this stuck down. Now I am going to use... Now, I want to see what side though. What do you think checks all that? I think I'll use the diamond side actually. No, I'll use the checks. I'll go with what I, what I planned first. So all we're doing is using these lovely foam strips. Okay, I'm not putting it right to the edge. This one in half, watch your fingers. Keep it away from the edge a little bit. And then we're going to build the card up. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to grab the mini dimension for in the gaps. Well, I've actually been feeling not bad this last few days. It's the first of me feeling slightly better since um, before Christmas. It's been an absolute nightmare. I'm actually, um, I know I've done a, quite a bit of crafting over the holidays, but that was just random projects um, leading up to Christmas and then launching the new, new catalogue. So it means that I am now... Three weeks behind with my blogging. I like to be, um, well, come the first week in the month to the first week and a half, I like to be scheduled up until the end of the month in terms of my blogging. So, right, I'm going to pop this down. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely, jovely. Right, okay. So this is simply going to be glued on. Adding a, a little bit of glue to each side. This may be a bit much, but... Is that where I want it? And you can use your, um, what do you want to call it? Your paper to guide you. I do like that. And this down here. I'm thinking about trimming this down slightly thinner. Now, need to be careful with this. 
I don't want to cut it squint and then have to stamp it again. I think I'll use my scissors actually, I don't trust myself. I do trust my snips though. That's a bit better. Okay, now I'm thinking. I don't know whether. Look, that's not stuck right. You know why? Because I'm changing my mind, so that's kind of good. I think I'll. Um, Pop that there. From all of us, and I'll pop this one down here. All I'm doing is I'm going to add a little um, contrast on my banner. Okay, it's like that. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, one of my team promoted um, after this last quarter that's just ended. I'm so, so, so proud of her. So proud. She now is a leader. Fantastic. Right, now. Pop that there. Right. What else does this need? Does it need some coordinating embellishments? Yes, it does. And I have the perfect, perfect combination because I have the, um, not in there, I don't. I have the um, coordinating and colour faceted um, dots. Use some of those. Oh, I've obviously used quite a bit of the um, pretty peacock ones. I only have big ones left. So let me see. Let me see how this looks. Yeah, I am just going to add one. One in each corner. Now I'm going to just add two here. Just to give it a little bit sparkle. Talking about sparkle, should I get my wink of steel out? Should I, should I? I think I will. Because I am going to add a touch of glitter to the little meerkat family. And it's little things like this that people will notice and think, oh, I didn't notice that before. And they're like, oh, what a lot of work's went into this. Not realising just how easy it is to make cards with stamping up products. Super easy. And if you're not sure if you're... Um, ready to take up card making. We've all started somewhere. I've only been doing this a few years. And I'm not bored yet. And I'm not stopping yet, so. There we go. A little shiny shimmer. And that is our card for today's special Sunday. Right guys, thank you so much for popping by. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Comment too, I will reply. And uh, thanks for joining me today. Bye now.